cases of cheese mite dermatitis date back over 60 years in the United States, also known as cheese itch, though typically considered vermin by the food industry, affecting harder cheeses like aged cheddar in particular. They're sometimes intentionally added to cheese for added flavor. In the Journal of Dairy Science, the various species were recently identified. When cheese is ripened with mites, a nutty, fruity flavor and aroma evidently develops. The placement of the anal suckers can evidently be used to help differentiate between the different types uh, to make sure you put the right one in the cheese. Here's a video of the little suckers in action, ripening the cheese, developing the nutty, fruity flavor and aroma. positively appetizing, though, compared to some other cheese-making practices. The cheese skipper is sometimes present in well-aged cheese and a proof of its quality. The cheese skipper doesn't sound so bad until you realize they're talking about cheese infested with maggots of the cheese fly. The larvae are the well-known cheese skippers. They can cause intestinal infections, even urinary tract infections. Normally, the insects are just contaminants, but there is a kind of spider cheese equivalent of the maggot world, and that's called Kesu morzu, a soft cheese intentionally riddled with thousands of maggots of the cheese fly to aid in fermentation, evidently because the larvae can launch themselves for distance up to, distances up to 15 centimeters. Diners are said to hold their hands above their sandwiches to prevent the maggots from leaping into their face.